Hi, Dr. Bodhi here, and I'm going to walk you through the biomolecules demonstration on how to use the different reagents. So as you see down here, we have a couple of test tubes, about eight in total. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set them up, label them properly, and set them up and designate them as positive and negative controls for each of the four reagents. So let's hop to it. The utility of having these as positive and negative controls is that we can compare them to what we're actually testing and see this is what a positive should look like, this is what a negative should look like, so then we can know whether ours is positive or negative based on whether or not it matches the positive or the negative. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of water for to each of these. Looks like the water was just as generous to the surface here as it was to the tubes. You see, I don't need a lot. And now I'm going to add some reagents. So let's start this off with Lugol solution here. This is an indicator for starches. And I'm gonna add a few drops of that to my green one. It'd be good to record which one you're adding it to. So you can remember which one's which. A couple drops there. Biorette is next. This will test for proteins. Biorette is a little bit, ah, tricky here. Biorette is a little bit less reactive, so it wouldn't hurt to add a little bit more. I might be going overboard here with these three squirts. Next up is Sudan 4 solution. This is red. You notice I'm wearing gloves. That's because I'm made of biomolecules and I'd really rather not get this stuff on myself. I recommend you do likewise if you're handling the reagents. If you're not handling the reagents, there's really no need to wear gloves if you're staying a good social distance away from the things that might react with fats. Last, we have Benedict solution. And you see we have it in this larger container, but I have aliquoted a little bit out right here. So I'll just pour that in a little bit. For the negative controls, I'm done. A negative control is just water and the reagents. So let me just set those back a notch. For the positive controls, I'm going to want to add something I know will react. So if Lugol's reacts with starch, I'm going to add to it this cornstarch. Just a little bit, and let's see what happens. Look at that. That turns a nice black color, and that's the reaction that occurs between Lugol's and starch when starch is present. So there's our positive control right there, our positive and our negative. The negative is just that dull amber, and the positive is this rich black. For protein, I'm going to add something with known protein, and that would be these egg whites. And look at that, it turns a nice purple color as opposed to that blue. And you can see how that might be a little more difficult to discern, especially if we didn't have much in there. So that's why I added a little bit more on the Biorettes because the blue here compared to the purple, it might help actually as well to get it against a white background. And there you go, you can clearly see the difference in color between those two. We got Lugol's. Biorettes. Now for the Sudan 4, I'm going to add a known lipid, and that would be peanut oil, full of peanutty, oily goodness. Let me try not spilling that all over the countertop. That'd be slippery. Come on. There we go. And you're going to see it forming a red layer at the top. 
and that red layer at the top is the uh, is the interaction of the pseudon 4 dye with the lipids. And the lipids are less dense in water, so they stay at the top. So again, we can see the red goes to the top, and that'll continue to go as the reaction proceeds. And last, we have Benedict solution. So for that, I'm going to add some glucose, just straight up pure sugar glucose to that. and nothing. And that's because we're actually going to have to add it to some hot water. And there's the change right there. Look at that. Uh, I won't lie, I added it to, I had to heat up the water a little beforehand to make things move a little faster, but that's what it's going to do with the, uh, the glucose. And now we can see For Lugol's, turns black from orange from Biorette, turns purple from blue. Sudan 4 develops a thin red scum at the top. There you go. You can see it easily there. And Benedict's turns orange from blue. You may have noticed it started turning a little green right off the front there. That's the, that's the less lesser reaction. If there's just a small amount of glucose, it actually turns a green color first. So there you have it, biomolecules and how they interact with their reagents.